Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about some practice problems involving the ratio of areas of different figures. Well, let's get started. We've got quite a bit of work to do. So number 19, we're going to find the ratio of the areas of each triangle and we're going to go through, I believe there are five sets of triangles we're going to uh, take a look at. So the first one is the ratio, uh, relationship of uh, the area of triangle WYZ which is in green and x, y, z, which is in red. And that relationship is one to one because they both have the same base in z, y, and they have the same height. All right, so the relationship of the areas of triangle w, y, z to x, y, z is one to one. Next one, the ratio of triangle w, x, z to w, x, y is going to be one to one as well for the same reasons. We have the same base in w, x and the same height. Moving on to C, the ratio of WPZ to XPY is one to one. Uh, okay, so let's think about why that is and let's just uh, move back to uh, B, which says uh, the ratio of WXZ to WXY uh, is going to be one to one. So triangle WXZ is congruent to WXY, or at least it has the same area. Uh, now, I'm going to consider WPX, which is this top triangle here. I know it's congruent to itself. So when I subtract this from the two triangles WZX and uh, XYW, I'm left with the two triangles on the left and right. Uh, so I'm, what I'm doing is I'm subtracting congruent segments or congruent areas from equal areas, so to speak, and I'm left with two equal areas in WPZ and XPY, so the relationship uh, is going to be one to one for w, uh, WPZ and XPY, which is uh, problem 18C. Okay, moving on, D, the uh, ratio of WPZ uh, to ZPY, it should be WPX to ZPY, so this should be X here. WPX to ZPY is going to be 9 to 16. Well, how do we figure that out? Well, we have two similar triangles. Angle WPX, so WPX and ZPY are congruent because they're vertical angles. XWP, XWP and ZYP are congruent uh, because they're alternate interior angles in two parallel lines. We have a trapezoid here, so don't forget that we have two parallel lines in WX and ZY. So by the AA similarity theorem, we have triangle WPX similar to triangle ZPY. We know that the relationship of, or the ratio of the bases is gonna be 12 to 16, or I can simplify that as three to four. So remember when we take the relationship of the side lengths, we square that to find the relationship of the areas. Three to four squared is gonna be a relationship of nine to 16, so that's the relationship of the areas. All right, last one, E. We wanna find the ratio of triangle WPX to XPY. Well, we know that WP to PY from this prior problem gives us a relationship of three to four. And then we know that the heights are gonna be the same. So uh, I have two triangles. WXP and YXP, and the height is going to be the same, so I can draw my height here. And it's going to be the same for both triangles. So if the area of uh, WXP is one half uh, the base, one half of three, times the height, and the area of XPY is one half of the base times the height, right? Then, this, so this is area two, we'll say, and this is area one. Area one corresponds to triangle WPX, area two to XPY. Then I know that the relationship of the areas is going to be, if I divide both sides by one half H is going to be three to four. Okay, so that's the last problem for problem 18. Told you it was gonna be rather lengthy. 
We're going to move on to the next one, number 21. Given trapezoid ABCD, find the ratio of the areas 1 and 2. And this is a pretty straightforward problem. We see again in the trapezoid that we have the same height for the two triangles, even though they are oriented a little differently. And the bases are going to be different. So really the relationship of the areas is just the relationship of the bases. Since the height is the same, the relationship of the areas of, uh, areas of 1 to 2 is going to be 15 to 18. I have a common factor in 3, so it ends up being 5 to 6. Right, so the height of triangle ABD is uh, equal to the height of triangle BDC. The base of ABD is 15, base of BDC is 18. So the ratio of the areas then is 15 to 18, or 5 to 6. All right, last problem. Uh, okay, so the first one, there are two parts to this. PQRS is a parallelogram, and initially we're going to assume that T is a midpoint, and the area of PQRS is 60. We're going to find the areas of regions 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the first, they're both fairly uh, tough problems, both A and B, and B we'll get into in just a second. So you have to follow along carefully. So you might want to take a deep breath before we move on. Okay, so here we go. So I know that the area of the parallelogram PQRS is equal to 60. And I know that the area of a parallelogram is a base times the height. So area of PQRS is QR times H, which is equal to 60. Then I know that the area of 1 plus 2, so I identify 1 plus 2, is going, I know that TR is half of QR, is going to be the area of a triangle, which is 1 half base times height, or 1 half of 1 half QR times H. All right, so if QR times H is 60, then 1 half of 1 half QR times H is 1 fourth of 60 or 15. Okay. Next area, 1 plus 4, 1 plus 4 here, 1 half base times height. Again, 1 half QR times H, which is 1 half uh, QR times H, which is going to be equal to 30. Area 2 plus 3 is the same, 1 half of the base uh, times the height, since PS and QR are the same ends up being 1 half of QR times the height. So that's also 30. And then the area of 3 plus 4 is going to be uh, 60, which is the entire area, minus the area of 1 plus 2, which we've determined as 15. So the area of 3 plus 4 is equal to 45. Now we know that the uh, area of uh, the triangle T, we'll call this OR, is similar to triangle POS. I have vertical angles here that are congruent, and then alternate interior angles are going to be congruent. So I'm left with two similar triangles by AA. So the area of 1 to the area of 3, since TR is half of QR, TR is half of PS. So the area of, since there are two similar triangles and the heights are different, the area is going to be 1 over 2 squared, or 1 to 4. Right, so that means that 4 times the area of 1 is equal to the area of 3. So 4 times the area of 1 is equal to the area of 3. So now we're going to use that information in substitution to solve for all of the areas. Well, I already know that the area of 2 plus the area of 1 is 15, and I got that from this first equation here. So the area of 2 plus the area of 1 is 15. So I'm going to solve for the area of 2 in terms of the area of 1. So the area of 2 is equal to 15 minus the area of 1. And I also know that area 2 plus the area of 3 is going to be uh, 30. So area of 2 plus the area of 3 is 30. That leaves me with the area of 2 plus 4 times the area of 1. Remember, 4 times the area of 1 is equal to the area of 3. And we determine that here. So area of 2 plus 4 times the area of 1 is equal to uh, 30. Uh, now the area of 2 by substitution is 15 minus area of 1. So I have 15 minus the area of 1 plus 4 times the area of 1 is equal to 30. That leaves me with 3 times the area of 1 equal to 15, so the area of 1 is equal to 5. Well, if the area of 1 is equal to 5, and the area of 1 plus 2 is equal to 15, then the area of 2 must be equal to 10. And if the area of 2 plus the area of 3 is equal to 30, and the area of 2 is equal to 10, then the area of 3 has to be equal to 20. And if the area of 3 plus 4 is equal to 45, and the area of 3 is 20, then the area of 4 must be 25. So now we have all of our areas, and we're going to move on to the next problem. And this is the last one. All right, so stick, me, stick with me here. I know this might get complicated. You know, can always come back and revisit uh, this particular problem.
All right, so in 22B, we're gonna change things up a little bit. We're gonna say, we have still the PQRS as a parallelogram. And then we're gonna say T divides QR such that QT to TR is in the relationship of X to Y. So we wanna find the ratio of the area of a region, and we're gonna do this mathematically, region one to the entire parallelogram. All right, so we're also gonna identify the length here from PS to the intersection of PR and ST as Z, and then uh, W as the length of the, uh, um, the length of this segment here from QR to the intersection, again, of PR and ST. So here's W, here's S, X, here's X, and here's Y. And we know QT, again, is in the relationship of, QT to TR is in the relationship of X to Y. Um, all right, so first let's define the area. Area of one is one half, area of one here is going to be one half uh, base times height, which is one half of Y times W, one half of W times Y. And then the area of uh, uh, triangle, th uh, triangle three is going to be one half of the base, uh, I'm sorry, the area of the parallelogram, excuse me, is gonna be X plus Y times Z plus Y, excuse me. So the area of the entire parallelogram is X plus Y times y plus z, the height. All right, so we have one half y uh, uh, w, which is the area of this particular uh, triangle here to the area of the entire parallelogram, which is z plus w times x plus y. All right, so we know that uh, one is similar to three, so I can say that z is to w as x plus y is to y. So z is to w as x plus y is to y. Right, now if I, rewrite these two equations. I have z over w is equal to x over y plus y over y, which is plus one. Now I can add one to both sides and I still have the equation, uh, same equation. So z over w plus one now is equal to x over y plus two. And I can rewrite that as z plus w over w is equal to x plus two y over y. Now if this, these values are the same, I can also take the reciprocals of the two values and they'll also be the same. So I take the reciprocal of these two values and I end up with W over Z plus Y is equal to Y plus, uh, I'm sorry, is equal to Y over X plus two Y. Now I notice here that I have W in my original equation over Z plus W. And here I have W over Z plus W. So I can substitute in this value which is equal to W over Z plus W in for W over Z plus W in my original relationship. And what I get is one half of Y over X plus two Y, right, times Y over X plus Y. So here's Y over X plus Y. I'm substituting in the value uh, that I determined here, right, by substitution. Uh, so I substitute in Y over X plus two Y for y, uh, W over Z plus W. And now I have one half y times y over x plus two y times x plus y. And if you do the math, you'll find out that that is equal to one half y squared over x squared plus three xy plus two y squared, uh, which is y squared over two x squared uh, plus six y plus four y squared. So that's the relationship uh, of region one, right here, region one to the entire parallelogram. Right, rather complicated stuff, uh, but not too tough once you figure it out. If you want, just uh, rewind this particular section, go through the math, and you'll see uh, that it is correct. All right, that's it for this edition of Otten Math on practice problems for ratio of areas. Come and join us next time on the next edition of Otten Math as we talk about uh, hero for Hero's Formula and also... Uh, Brahmagupta's formula in chapter 11.8 in the next edition of Otten Math.